Well, starting on two shortly, Ben Elton's comedy series, Happy Families. Here on BBC One, in five minutes, the news. And at 9.35, the Terry Fox story tells the true tale of a teenage athlete's determination to triumph over a personal tragedy. The time is nine o'clock. There now follows a party political broadcast by the Labour Party. I was just thinking about how things used to be before the war and suddenly I realised that the only people who could remember anything at all about those times are people over 50. There are whole generations who just don't know what it was like with no national health, for example. People wouldn't call out the doctor in those days for lack of money to pay. Sometimes they died. That used to happen in my lifetime. And then came the war, the blitz and everything. Oh, that was another kind of hardship. But at least we'd all learned to pull together. Everyone said, we can't go back to the old ways, they were rotten. And everyone voted in the Labour government. And one of the first things they brought in was the National Health Service. But the Tories, they fought against it all the way. Said it was all wrong and goodness knows what else. The Tories in Parliament voted against it, but it made no difference. But the time they got back into power in the 1950s, oh, it was so popular they wouldn't have dared touch it. I was born in the 50s, not that I can remember much about them. By the time I qualified as a doctor, the National Health Service was just taken for granted. I used to get very impatient if everything wasn't perfect. It was only when I started travelling abroad and learning about healthcare in other countries that I began to appreciate what we'd got here. In America, for example, people still die for lack of money or because their private medical insurance simply runs out before they're cured. And that's the system the government want to bring in here. I don't know what the next generation's going to make of it. Don't turn around, because you're going to see my heart breaking. Don't turn around, I want to see it crying. Just walk away, it's tearing me apart that you're leaving. I'm letting you go. I was a victim of television violence. Fell off a ladder trying to remember mum's television aerial. Anyway, broke my jaw, one of my ribs, ended up in hospital. I'd never even been in hospital before, so it was all a bit new to me. But the people, the doctors and the nurses, and everyone, they were great. Really nice. But what shocked me, when I got there, there were no pillowcases or sheets on the bed. <laughs> They're really sorry about it. Said it was for the cutbacks. Ridiculous, really, isn't it? The ridiculous thing is that we now spend far less on health care than most other European countries. If we just invested in a few computers, for example, we could begin to cut waiting lists. If we spent more on preventing illness, we could actually save money. I didn't know it was a Labour Party that brought in the health service till just the other day. He reckons he's a socialist now. So do you. We don't need a new health care system. We just need people who care for the one we've got. I think we've got the same kind of people in government now that fought so hard against it in the 1940s.
If you'd like to join the Labour Party, telephone 01200 0200 or write to the Labour Party, Free Post, London, SE 17 1BR. That was a party political broadcast by the Labour Party. It'll be shown again at 10.45 tonight on BBC Two. At 9.35 on BBC One, the moving story of a teenage athlete who loses...